So I knew for a long time that I wanted to make a Christmas video because, you know, well, I don't be the reason I just wanted to make a Christmas video. I had several ideas, one of which was a Christmas themed magic trick that involved burning money. But then I kind of thought, you know, in this harsh economic climate, I just don't think it's the time for burning money. So and that, that got me thinking about the harsh economic climate. And then from there, that got me thinking about lonely people. And it dawned on me that there's a lot of lonely people at Christmas time. So I thought I'd give back a little this Christmas and make a video for all those lonely, lonely, sad people this Christmas. I got together with my good friend Google. We put our smarts together. And we came up with quite a good few ways to spend your Christmas alone. Now I'm going to start off with a few just general pointers. And this is from a website called Article Online Directory. And it reminds us that you don't have to be embarrassed just because you're single this Christmas season. I think that's very important to remember. Join holiday gatherings and feasts just as if you were in a relationship. So carry on as if you were in a relationship, but you're not. You're single. Also, it gives the very smart advice of asking your other sad, lonely, single friends to join you on these feasts and gatherings. This will help you from feeling awkward and out of place. But never lose hope. This is not the end of the world for you yet. There are still people who care and love you. I hope that's true. Perhaps we'll look at a more um, trustable website, uh, eHow. Basically, it's, it's telling you all the ways you can um, do charity work, which I'm so sure you're all aware of already. Go down to the local mission or soup kitchen. Um, you can help cook, clean, serve. This is where it gets a little iffy. Um, or you can just spread the holiday spirit by pulling up a chair and talking to the homeless like they're human. Their words, not mine. I don't know, I don't think lonely people can spread holiday spirit. Can they? Adopt a grandparent or two. Or take up with one of the younger residents. Don't forget the women's shelter. There's also hospitals. Oh, right, we get the idea. That's, that's, that's one way to, um, to be lonely at Christmas. And contact a friend who is spending the holiday alone. If you have other lonely friends, there's no, there's no good reason why you're alone unless you're a horrible person. You know, I'd really love to sit here and tell you how best to spend your Christmas alone, because I have many, many words of wisdom and, and amazing things to say, but I kind of have to go and spend Christmas with my family and friends right now. I just realized this video probably won't be up till tomorrow, which is St. Stephen's Day. Um, but I've given you plenty of time to prepare for next year. There's, there's dating websites, there's, uh, well that is it really, uh, just, just dating websites. But on a serious note, you know, whether you're alone and miserable this Christmas, or alone and happy, or, you know, maybe you're not alone at all. Just make it the best day of your life. You know, and who knows? Maybe there's a video coming your way very soon about how to, how to make friends and end your lonely existence. Not like that. <laughs>